cannonball. I, I can have Tim do it. Or I'll you, bring you, you to you. Tim, Tim can do it. It's a Fred Flintstone bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's 38 yep. pounds. 38 pounds. Now, the only way you get that to land where you want it is shoot it straight up in the air and let it land on top. So did this have, I, excuse my ignorance, did they put stuff in this? Did yes, it blow up that hole? It, yeah, yeah. They, they, they fill it with powder, and then that's where they put the fuse on top. So and then, then they But wait, they, sh they, they shoot it out of the cannon? They, they light the fuse. They light the, they, this is a mortar. And so they light the fuse, put it in the mortar, they shoot it up in the air, and see how they blow up before they okay, hit the ground? Okay, so this is a mortar. That's, That's the a mortar. bomb bursting in air. That's a, that is literally a bomb. So is this, this was... Now this comes out of the Battle of Yorktown. This is the end of the American Revolution. So that's part of the Battle of oh. Yorktown. <laughs> That is some incredible. Classes, bro. I know, but it doesn't look that heavy. It doesn't look you're going to pick it up and you're like, heavy. and it's empty inside. I mean, wow. So that's that's how we end the American Revolution. With the mortars we used at, at Yorktown, and the French were using those off their boats to hit the, the British on shore. Uh, the Americans were using that to pound the British. So that is a mortar from Yorktown, but that's what you see here in, in mm. these things. Now, Obviously, you just mentioned this is Fort McHenry, and that we got Francis Scott Key who writes the Star Spangled Banner. It just happens that we have the first ever printing of the Star Spangled Banner right here. Yeah, don't let that roll off on yeah. your toe. So this, this is the defense of Fort McHenry, and this is the first time it's ever printed, first time it ever mm -hmm. appears in print. And that's what he wrote on the back of an envelope when he was on the ship. So this is, hang on just a second, there is a line in here. These, right here, these, these, these two verses, listen to this. And where is that band who so vauntingly swore that the havoc of war and the battle's confusion, a home and a country should leave us no more? Their blood has washed out their foul footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror or the flight or the gloom of the grave. And the star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh, thus be it ever when free men shall stand between their loved home and war's desolation. Blessed with victory and peace, may the heavens rescued land praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. Then conquer we must our when cause our cause is, is just. And this be our motto, in God is our trust. And the star-spangled banner in triumph shall wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. Beautiful. There you go. Just beautiful. And all four verses are worth covering. Yeah, we always, in my opinion, we always sing the wrong verses or we don't sing all of them and we should we're so excited to have you in the vault and we can't wait for you and um, your older children to join us um, if you would like to um, volunteer your time and, and and have your kids work as an intern just let us know go to uh, mercuryone.org slash intern and find out all about it and it's also a place where you can find out the best places to donate your money if you want to help mm -hmm. from Christians in the Middle East to people who are starving on the streets here in America um, to being able to help us build out our library. Quickly, do you want to give us a quick prayer? Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> and God, we thank you so much for the blessings you have given us in this nation. God, thank you for the freedom the, the liberties we have. God, thank you that we can look back in history and see the way this works, and we ask you help us to protect and preserve this going forward in the future. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 From Dallas and the vault. Good night, America. <laughs>